Hey, Gemini. Thank you so much. Uh, here is your bonus reading. This should resonate uh, for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, cross watchers, it could be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, to be honest. This is a bonus reading. Um, bonus readings are for signs that either get a lot of hits, a lot of views. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. And here is my way of giving you guys an additional reading. All right, let's hop into this right here. Okay. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, or Venus? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, overall energy for love and romance for Gemini. Okay, king of cups. Some of us are dealing with a Leo, Pisces, Pisces, Aries, or Scorpio, or Aries, god damn it. Leo, Scorpio, um, Pisces, or Cancer. Or this is the energy that's coming in, okay? What's um what's Gemini's person of interest? What is their energy like right now towards Gemini? What 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 is their overall energy? Woo! Okay, we have the sun. So Gemini, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Leo, or a Leo has stepped into the building. Like, let me reintroduce myself. It's weird though. Because I still feel like there's something else like um, working on in the background. I'm saying that. And I know this is super random. We have the moon, Pisces or Cancer, Three of Pentacles, Mars and, Can or, uh, Mars and Capricorn. But there's something else going on behind the scenes. Doesn't shock me. Those of you guys that are cross-watching Ear Muffet right now. This doesn't surprise me for us because... There's something here I feel like that we're hiding, that we're working on, that maybe somebody doesn't know about. And I'm saying that because I've already pulled uh, cards prior, but I'll go ahead and get to those in a second. Okay. What's the overall, how does Gemini feel romantically about this person? How does Gemini feel romantically about their person of interest? Ten of Cups, Mars and Pisces. Some of us are definitely dealing with a Pisces um, even a Taurus, I feel like that's even a possibility. Okay. Um, and I'm not calling Taurus from this. I was calling it from the bottom of the deck. So those of you haters that are in the comments, like, oh, that can of cups. That's not all it is. Well, yeah, go eat a dick. And I'm going to say what I want to say. Okay. Next. All right. Sorry. I'm just excited because I haven't pulled cards in like, uh, close to two weeks. So I'm pretty stoked about this. Okay. What's the overall situation romantically for Gemini? The overall situation romantically for Gemini? The Hierophant, what I say? There is some type of Taurus energy and it can be so, and I know that this sounds kind of jacked up, but I do feel like um, there, um, there still is a heavy emphasis. Like there's a lot of Gemini energy coming here. Like, I don't know if it's for me or maybe you guys can comment below. Is anyone else having issues with technology or is it just me? Like placing an order and then it getting placed three times, like things like that. There's something here with heavy Gemini energy and it may be because Gemini is in Venus or Venus is in Gemini and it is retrograde. So take that how you want to take it. But for me, it's kind of jacking some stuff up. I'm going to be honest with like technology. All right, what's the best potential outcome here for Gemini and their person of interest romantically? Gemini and their person of interest romantically? Soulmate, okay. There's a lot of passion and chemistry between you and this person, Gemini. That's obvious. I don't think you or this person can deny that. And I'm saying this because when I'm asking what your overall archetype is for your relationship, it's the one. Okay. And it's 30, right? Which breaks down to three. So three is actually Jupiter. So some of you definitely may be dealing with the Sag. Um, but this is really about being very blunt, opening your mind to something, new places. Um, your person may be foreign or far away from you or have a level of different beliefs, but it's also about being social and kind and positive and optimistic about a relationship. However, I do want to say this, there is a level of expansion that's happening, but I feel like right now we don't see that. Okay. And when it comes to the one, here's the thing, the one, like, <clears throat> I feel like for a lot of us, 
we feel like we've met the person that we consider is our one, right? But remember, there's always two of us. So if there's two of us, maybe there's two people that are the one. Just throwing it out there for somebody. Um, but it's coming across like we've met the one, right? Well, here's, here's my issue. And I'm going to break deeper into what the one means in a second. But when I ask how your partner feels um, about your relationship, it's not enough. So obviously this person feels like they don't have enough to offer us. Um, also too, they're very frustrated and there is a lack of confidence here. On top of that, I feel like this person self-sabotages quite a bit and they have a level of fear and I feel like that's associated with their ego and I feel like that's what really holds this person back as well as there is a level of jealousy. Now, what alarmed me when I'm pulling these cards, okay, our person's insecure and feels like they're not enough. Okay, next, like, what's new, right? I think when you're dealing with a Gemini, it's hard not to feel like that because there's two of us, so we can be somewhat overpowering, I feel like. But what, what bothered me when I asked how we felt about this relationship, it was stabbed in the back. So this is definitely a WTF moment, like, you know, um, this is heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and something that was very shocking that's happened. So I feel like over these next, um, couple of weeks, I feel like this has either happened or it's going to happen over these next couple of days. And I feel like what this is, is this is how things pan out. So I feel like right now we're currently in a place where we found out some type of information. Okay. Cause you know, our ass is always asking questions, always snooping, always asking, but why? But wait a minute. Well, explain it to me. I, I necessarily don't understand and I want to know, right? And the funny thing I feel like about Gemini, and hopefully you guys are okay with me going on this rant, but I feel like in Crosswatchers, you know, here's some little tea about Gemini. The thing about Gemini is Gemini always knows what the hell is going on in the background it's whether or not we choose to accept it or digest it, right? I feel like there's something here with this person. And I do feel like this person is our one, okay? Or is the one for a lot of us. And I feel like there is something, there's a hitch in our giddy. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a big ass bump in the road, dog. We lost like four tires. We're stranded. However, we've called, you know, uh, who the hell do you call besides Batman? I don't know, or Ghostbusters. Anyways, we've called the people to come pick our ass up, but right now we're stuck in a place where things, there isn't a lot of forward movement right now. And I feel like you guys feel that. Um, it's interesting because when it does come to the one, this is really about experiencing um, this oneness. And I think that in a brief moment, there was a there, there was a brief moment here, Gemini, where I feel like you and this person really were in a place where it was good. It was fluid. There was something here where you're like, oh my God, everything is going exactly how it's supposed to go. It's smooth. You know, I feel like we were looking over our shoulder like, okay, well, what's to come, right? Because usually with Gemini, Gemini there's some type of fuckery at the end. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's what happens, right? But here's what's interesting. It's, it's something, there, there is a level of power here and there is something where we do have a glimpse or we did have a glimpse of what this relationship could be, right? I, I do feel like that. I'm not a pessimist, especially with stabbed in the back and not enough. Obviously this person jacked up and they don't know how to come forward and fix it. Okay, fine. But I feel like there's a level of duality here you know, one that takes a hit, but then also one that fades away. And it's like, okay, now we're both stripped raw. Now what do we do? Right? Now the cat's out of the bag. Now all this just happened. Now what? Okay. And I feel like that brings us in directly to your reading. So this next couple of months, based on what I can see, or the next couple of weeks, I mean, we do have the King of Cups. We have the Sun. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Hierophant. I feel like there is a level of happiness here. I mean, I don't see any swords yet, but let's keep going. Hold on. 
as I'm shuffling, the Emperor just popped up. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. Okay. Your overall energy for the week, it's also sword in the rose. Like I said, clarity, truth, revelation. You were forced to see this. This was forced to come up. I feel like somebody may have slipped up uh, during either a conversation or a phone call. And there was something revealed here. And, and I do think that with us feeling stabbed in the back and not enough, it was something that definitely hurt, right? Can you give me more information on why the King of Cups is here for the overall energy, please? With the moon. Okay. Again, the moon. There's something here with this moon. Also, too, emotionally, I feel like something was stirred up or somebody is hiding something emotionally. Um... With the moon, Pisces or Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, what's being hidden here? I feel like this person is hiding how they truly feel. What's being hidden here? The Two of Cups. Now, hold, hold, hold on there, Gemini. With the Page of Wands. So, Cancer, Venus. We also have uh, Aries, Sag, or Leo. How would Gemini feel about this? And then I'll tell you what I think, okay? How would Gemini feel about this, Spirit? How, how would Gemini feel about what's being hidden? The world. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. I feel like this. I, I feel like there was something that was shed here by the person that we're involved with. Some information, Eight of Wands, Sag Mercury with the Knight of Cups. I feel like, again, this is Pisces energy, Pisces or Gemini. I feel like we were waiting for this information. It's something that we've been thinking about for a period of, a period of time. It's something that's been hidden. And I feel like it's been hidden for months. I'm going to be honest. Maybe like seven months, eight months. There's something here about... This is something that's been hidden for a period of time. And I feel like we've been going back and forth on this, on what exactly it is. And I feel like we've been waiting for it to come out. And I feel like with the moon here and then um, the world, there is a level of closure on something that was hidden. Because... How we, how we feel about it is it's finally communication, but it's communication that's now going to push us forward from where we did originally feel stalled, right? Where we felt like we did have a lack of information. We, we, we couldn't understand completely what was going on, right? And I also feel like now, though, with this information that we've received, there is something that is very cautious about us. We're not balls to the wall right now, right? We're taking a love, we're taking a couple steps back and we're really focusing or honing in on what we need to do to protect ourselves. Because there is some information that we found out, either about a child, okay, page of wands. This may be about somebody that's pregnant, somebody that had a baby, so a child or something on the side. This could even be somebody that was dealing with somebody else. But we definitely have an energy where there is something here where something is, is, is found out. And I feel like it's what we've been waiting for. But see, what's happened now is we're more cautious because, you know, we've been hurt, right? So now we're more cautious with where we the next steps, I should say, we take with this person, okay? Um, as far as your person's energy is concerned, we have the sun. This is somebody uh, that is, brings you, I feel like, a lot of happiness, but there is a level of ego here with this person. I am going to say that. What's their overall energy, Spirit? Show a nice person of interest. It's funny. It's like not today. Like there's something here where you found, I'm telling you, you found something out and then because not today wanted to come up for the sun. It was like there's something here where this person isn't happy right now because it's not today or they don't want to talk about it. Let me ask again. What's the overall energy for this person romantically? Romantically. 
What's the overall energy for this person romantically? Mirror. So, mirror with the sun, okay. I feel like this, I feel like there is a level of unconditional love here between you and them. Also, too, with, with mirroring, you guys are definitely mirroring each other. And I feel like right now, if you're hurting Gemini, like they're definitely hurting too. I don't, I don't think that they can escape that. But I also feel like it's time for introspection for this person. So they may be quiet for a period of time because they're trying to figure out what the hell do they do in order to have that forward movement with you. Give me more information on Gemini's person of interest romantically. Judgment. I'm telling you, anytime I see judgment, that's something that was said that made people say up and go, oh shit, right? Like it's one of those moments like, uh, for real? Like there is a level of judgment here. There also is a reconciliation, I feel like, with judgment. And there is some type of karmatic justice, right? Two of Wands, Mars and Aries. Um, and I feel like this happens really quickly. I feel like it happens quick. I think it comes out of nowhere, right? Mars and Aries, that's a very quick type of energy. That's something where you fall in and you fall out. So we may have uh, fallen into a deep, dark hole. However, we're a Gemini, so we always dig ourselves out and find a brighter aspect of it. Why, why are you showing me the two of wands? But wait a second. It's also, I feel like this, your person's energy. I feel like there was something that was said that was kind of like a coming to Jesus moment for both of you. Whether the entire thing was said or not, Gemini, you already know what's good. Um, but I do feel like your person is now looking forward or now watching to see what your next move is. Because I feel like there's something here where it's, it's somebody's turn to give. It's somebody's turn to take a level of action. One more card here, please, for this person's overall energy. I don't think that they like being judged, especially if, you're not, if you guys are dealing with somebody that has Libra in their chart, Libra moon, rising Venus. This person doesn't like being judged and judged harshly. And now they're over here wondering like exactly what you think of them. Like, well, what do they think, right? Look, they're over here pouting like, God damn it. Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer. I feel like they're really sitting here thinking about what they need to walk away from. Eight of Cups, there's Pisces. Three of Cups, Cancer, Mercury, okay? What do they need to walk away from? There's definitely something here that's been hidden High Priestess with the Empress. I'm going to be honest. The, fu the funny thing for me, though, with the High Priestess is you already know what it is. That, that, that's my personal opinion. There's something here either about a pregnancy. There's something here either about... Uh, sorry, I just hit that. Um, about a pregnancy, about... Um, somebody that's been hidden, an empress, a mother, father of a child, um, for the men that are watching, I can say this, your person is hiding, I feel like something pertaining to who they're talking to. Listen, man, woman, I really don't care, but there is a feminine energy that's being hidden here. Now, I always say this, we take on both masculine and feminine, right? Like I project more of a masculine energy, but that's because I'm more feminine. So somebody that's very masculine is going to project a more softer tone because they, they're hiding the fact that they're intense and they are prideful and they're all these other things, right? So there is definitely something that's being hidden. And I'm going to tell you, watch, I know that this isn't us. Snake, not today separation cassette you guys are over there like well where'd you get those from i cut the deck when i cut the deck if i see certain cards i pull them okay here's the thing cassette this is somebody who is from the past i feel like for your person this is somebody that 
has a level of outdated thinking. This is also somebody that you feel like you knew about and that you keep replaying certain events over your head. This is something today, not today. Again, there's a level of hurt when accepting or acknowledging this. And I feel like your person is definitely avoiding a call conversation or text message. They don't want to talk about it. And it's funny because you have the snake here and that's competition. This, this person is competition to us. This person also, I feel like for us, Gemini, there's some type of malicious energy where we have to look over the, over our shoulder. And this is the other person. So other woman, other man, however you want to slice it, dice it, rub it down. It is what it is. Um, and I feel like there is a level of hurt here because I do think that this has caused separation between you and your partner, either now or in the past, because there's a level of sadness here and thinking about the situation. And now I feel like for you, Gemini, you're just very unsure about where things are moving, where things are going when it comes to this person because of, of, of what's been hidden here. High priestess, there's Taurus with the Empress Libra, uh, again, Taurus. Um, so there's definitely something that they're hiding pertaining to this person. Okay. So how we feel about this person is the Ten of Cups. I mean, here's a jacked up thing about the Ten of Cups. And I'm going to be honest, right? Ten of Cups is a beautiful card. That's about having a level of... Um, like really acknowledging like this person's your soulmate, right? Knowing that the moment you've laid eyes on them, like you, you love them, right? It's also too, I feel like when it comes to Neptune, because this is Neptune type of energy, there's something here where it's, it's very deep. This, this, this is coming in at a soul level. This person has touched your soul in a certain way. And it's not a materialistic thing between them. It's not like this person buys you shit. It's not like this person does like, you know, materialistic things. It's, it's this person. It's something about their eyes. It's something about, you know, when you and them are together, whether it's physically, whether it's sexually, whether it's whatever, this is a very intimate type of, of, uh, relationship. It's very intuitive. And I feel like both you and this person pick up on each other. Now, let me give you the bad side about the Ten of Cups. For me, the Ten of Cups is a level of illusion, right? Because we're all in our emotions, all in our feelings. I feel like we tend to, with this, go with the flow, right? Pisces is very go with the flow type of energy. And I think that it's hard to really know what's going on because there's a lot of changes here. Pisces is a mutable sign like us. They're very changeable. And it's hard to know exactly where we stand with this person because there's a lot of energy uh, fluxes, right? Fluctuance. Um, I don't even know if I said that right. Just skip it. Um, however, there's something hard to pin down about this person. And I just feel like there's something very sensitive here, but there's also, there's a level of you that feels like this person is your one. Six of Wands. I think you're very attracted to this person. Um, again, this is Jupiter and Leo. But I'm going to put this back because this popped out when I wasn't asking. And look, right as I cut the deck, there's the lovers with the tower. The fucking seven of swords. Let's take these. Hello. We're in love with the person, right? Gemini. And I say we because I'm a Gemini. So I don't know if this resonates for me or not yet. Because half the time I don't know what the hell I'm saying. And I usually don't rewatch my readings but the lovers is here so obviously this is somebody that we're definitely in love with i feel like there's definitely a, a tower moment on information that was left out for me the seven of swords is breadcrumbing that's giving somebody enough mentally breadcrumbing right that's giving somebody enough enough information but not all of it right it's also um i feel like we were very observant here and very unique Okay, this is Moon and Aquarius. Um, and I feel like we're trying to analyze the situation and really understand what's going on here. But I also, holy shit. God damn, Seven of Swords. 
Two of Wands, Seven of Wands. This Six of Wands is reversed for me, but I'm going to put that shit back. Okay, here's what I get from these cards, okay? Again, Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius. This is a very unconventional type of situation between you and this person. I feel like you already know that. I feel like you're going back and forth right now on what you should do, whether you should keep investing or not, right? Jupiter and Capricorn. The difference now between you and this person is you're going to you're going to conduct yourself with a level of integrity, okay? You're also going to really put your foot down here and say no this is what i this is what i want and gemini usually doesn't do that or we don't stick to it but it's now time i feel like for us going back and forth it's like we're like hey is this the fact that this person has lied obviously seven of swords five of swords tower moment this is something that rocked us right rocked us to the core but it's weird because we're bouncing back because now we're going back and forth. And this can be the fact that we're going back and forth between two people, or it can be that we're going back and forth. Do I stick this situation out or do I just say, fuck it? But it's interesting because what's really coming through is the fact that we're being very protective here. Like I said, seven of wands, that's um, Mars in uh, Leo. This is a very protective energy, okay? For some of us, I feel like, um, this is embarrassing, like the amount of hurt that came through. Like, I feel like for some of us, it's like a level of humiliation or a level of embarrassment. Like, how could you do this to me? But I also feel like now, Gemini, you're more protected, protect a, per, how do I say it? Let me take it back. Sometimes my mind goes faster than what it should. But this is more of a protected energy for from you, where you you have your guard up now. And I also feel like with the three of wands here, some of us are definitely dealing with an Aries. It's about, okay, now what are you going to do? It's being optimistic that this person is going to make it right. But we're also waiting to see what the fuck is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do? Because right now we're coming in with strength. We're coming in with the hangman. You know why? Because that shit hurt. So now we have to be this queen of swords, right? We have to be this. They put us in this position. So now it's it's very much something where, and again, Ten of Swords, that's Mercury and Gemini. This is a situation where we're in our head about what's gone on in the past. And we really don't understand what truly happened until there's a level of communication about what's being left behind here. One card, please, for Gemini, for how they feel about their person of interest romantically. Or, yeah. Boat and coffee cup. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. The problem is, I'm going to be honest, with Gemini, we ask questions, but we don't, we never ask a question that's what we want the answer to. So, for instance, it's like, Let's say, what is, who is somebody talking to? It'll be like, what did you do today? Who did, oh, who are you doing this? Oh, well, why? It's like, we want to build our own conclusion before we make our own decision. We don't want them to tell us the answer because we want to figure it out. So with coffee cup and boat, I feel like here it's about having a conversation about what you need from this person in order to have forward movement and that can be even information on the situation or even information to move past this or move on from this person completely. But there is closure issues here. And I feel like it's because of this moon. I feel like it's because of the high priestess. There's not enough that's being said here. And I feel like this is a big ending. But I also feel like there's something new coming from this. I don't know if it's a new person. I don't know if it's a new aspect of this relationship. But there's something new coming. So let me ask with this. What's the overall situation between Gemini and this person? It's about a confession. The higher fit for me, what, when you go to church, what do you do? You confess your sins, at least I think for like the Catholics. Um, I don't know about other religions, but it it's about a confession. 
you go talk to the priest, priest you're like, hey, listen, I, I really fucked up here. Uh, so what happened was, right? And there, there's a level here where there's no judgment. So I don't know if that's them confessing to us and us not having a level of judgment, but it's just knowing what we know now and not that we're going to sit here and fix it. But I do feel like we feel some type of way about this. Stabbed in the back, ten of swords. But again, the situation, it's twin flames. Now, you know I always say this. I don't necessarily believe in the twin flame thing, but this is a card, so I'm going to throw it out there. Uh, yin yang, th this is completion. This is completing one another. This is a union. This is a duality. However, I do feel like there's something here that broke whatever connection you and this person had. And what I think, look, we have acts with heart with a key, breakup, separation, silent treatment. There's something here where somebody is being very quiet with what's going on on this situation. It's also too, it's, it's acts with heart with a key. It's like we're not welcoming love right now. Look, it even says the one. And it's funny because even on our card, it's the one. This is a person I feel like we have a very strong soul connection to this person. But something here has broke that. Now, what I want to say is this. We do have engagement with Phoenix. So after there is a separation, there is something where there is a strong level of commitment that does come from this whether it's from this person or somebody else, we'll have to figure that shit out in the extended. But why? Okay, the Hierophant is here, Nine of Swords. Why for the overall situation with justice? There's something here that we found out, okay, that we were racking our brains about, something that caused us to be very scattered and unfocused. Um, I feel like there's a part of us that got very angry at one point when, when this comes out. And it's also very nervous energy, but it's a very quiet energy and it's one that's fixated on it being fair, right? This isn't fair. If, if I'm only talking to you and you're talking and you have this whole other situation, that's not fair to me. Now I have to go make it fair, okay? Now I gotta go talk to 12 people. You wanna know why? Because that's what's fair. So we're really in our head about one, doing the right thing, but then also being very fair in this situation. How would, um, yeah. How would Gemini's partner feel? Look, Six of Pentacles, okay? It's funny, you guys know the Six of Pentacles is Moon and Taurus. That is something, first of all, your person wouldn't like that because look, that's us saying, okay, we're over here like Oprah. You get a car, you get a car, I'm calling you, I'm calling you. Oh, hey, you're getting a text, hello, can I come in? Right? That's us probably hitting somebody up from the past. I'm gonna keep it real. But doing it because it's like, there's a level of justice here, right? Um, and I don't think that your person likes that. Because it's a change. They feel like there's something changing in you. Look, now you're in your head. Also with the devil and I don't even know why that one came out. Now your person is very worried and concerned and fixated on who you're going to be giving to. How you're going to make it right because they know they fucked up. Big time. So to really figure out I feel like these cards right here, right? The Axe and the Phoenix, right? There's a separation. Wait, it was engagement. Hold on. Engagement ring, right? And the Phoenix. We have Axe with the heart and key. So there is a breakup here during these next two weeks or a break where it's not a, it's not a good one, okay? But then we have the Phoenix with the engagement ring here. You know what that's telling me? Phoenix is a new phase, rekindling, renewing, transformation, growth. And somebody's changed their mind on the commitment. For those of you guys that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.